Hi everybody, welcome to my homestead and welcome to my channel. In this video, uh, we're going to be talking more about the BYU Jerusalem Center and a, another thing I forgot to include um, that I did in the original video that I had to erase. So if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, like this video if you end up liking it. Uh, make sure to leave your comments and then share this on your social media. So uh, one thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to take the um, to take measurements of this uh, rectangle here. Uh, which I believe are the top two floors. I wanted to just kind of measure this and get a rough idea of what the square footage is and then compare that to modern day temples because the theory is that someday this could become a temple. Uh, who knows how, but we know that the Lord can do his own work. So um, I do believe it's a possibility. So um, let me get the measurement tool here. We're doing a polygon. We're going to just look at the square footage. And, uh, you know, this is just going to be rough. It doesn't have to be exact. I just want to see if it's in um, the same ballpark as uh, modern temples. Just because that's, uh, you know, it's kind of important to know. Um, so it looks like it's about 23, maybe 24,000 square feet, roughly. Very, very roughly. Okay. We'll go with 24,000 square feet. Okay. So now, again, I'm, I'm not including the dorms and stuff over here. You can see that going down along the, the hillside. I'm just concerned with this area up here because, it, you know, my best guess is that this would be the actual temple where, like, you have, um, you know, ordinance rooms and um, celestial room or however it's going to be laid out. Okay. Um, okay. So we'll say 24,000 square feet. Now let's go to... The Salt Lake Temple. Uh, let's take a look at that. See how many square feet. And again, uh, let me take it off 3D buildings. Um, okay. Come on. Load. Okay, there it is. Okay. So let's do the same thing here. We'll go from about right here to right here. To right here and then right here so of course this would be just the square footage of like one uh, floor but I'm just comparing basically one ground floor to another ground floor of um, you know temples compared to the BYU Jerusalem Center now um, the Salt Lake Temple very just very roughly is about 18,000 square feet. So um, it is substantially smaller uh, in terms of square footage of the ground floor, right? And I'm not including this like um, addition right here uh, over here on the north side. I'm just looking at the, like the original temple. But even if I did include that, I don't think it would make this number go up a whole lot. So the BYU Jerusalem Center compared to the Salt Lake Temple uh, is larger. Um, okay, so let's just look at a couple more. Let's check out the um, Las Vegas LDS temple. Okay, this is one of my favorite temples. Um, it's actually very, it's very pretty both on the outside and on the inside. And it, I don't know, it just, to me, it has kind of a, a unique feel. Um, I love its, its spires and all that. Okay, let's do the same thing. Let's take measurements here. Um, this one has more of kind of like a, I don't know, uh, not so much like a rectangular shape, but kind of like a, a diamond or uh, something along those lines. So let's check this out, get a rough idea of what we're dealing with here. Okay. This is about, okay, now the, the Las Vegas temple, that's about the same size as the BYU Jerusalem Center. Uh, this is coming in at about 24,500 square feet. Um, let's look at my temple. Let's go to the Oklahoma City LDS Temple. <clears throat> now, I, I think uh, this is like a, a smaller temple so but just for fun uh, I just want to see how this compares okay go from there to there here let's, let's even include these kind of like protruding areas 
have to do a lot more points. Uh, this only comes in at 12,000 square feet. <clears throat> so Oklahoma City Temple, much, much smaller, <laughs> much smaller than, <clears throat> excuse me, than the BYU Jerusalem Center. Uh, let's do one more for good measure. Let's go to the um, Kansas City Temple. Kansas City Elias Temple. Now, I am looking forward to going to this temple. I, we haven't made our way there yet. Uh, the, the closest one to us is the Oklahoma City Temple because it's only like two and a half hours away. Whereas the Kansas City Temple is more like uh, four hours away from where I'm at. But let's take a look at this here. That cannot possibly be right. This looks like it's even smaller than the Oklahoma City Temple. It's, it's saying uh, about 11, that well, 10, just under 10,000 square feet. Well, of course, it, do, it does have these upper um, levels. I don't know if it, it, I don't know if it has like just two levels, but okay, I guess that would make more sense because the Oklahoma City Temple only has uh, one level. So. In fact, the baptistry is on the ground level, but of course the baptismal font itself goes down into the ground because of the, the symbolism. But um, okay, so here, there you go. Kansas City Temple, 11,000 square feet. Okay, so <clears throat> the BYU Jerusalem Center is definitely large enough in terms of modern day temples uh, to become a temple itself someday. Now, uh, one other thing I wanted to go over was this whole thing about the um, uh, <clears throat> the line that you draw through the BYU Jerusalem Center. If you were to draw a line down the middle of it, um, in the last video I was talking about how um, if you do that and you follow the line, it goes through um, it goes through the temple lot in uh, Kansas City. See if you come over here. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in, give it some time to load, if it, if it ever will. But essentially, the line goes through uh, the temple lot of Kansas City. Now, um, this is using Google Earth, right? So it could be off, like it's not like I'm able to find the exact center of um, the BYU Jerusalem Center. But I still find it significant, why isn't it loading? I still find it significant because, um, let me zoom out here. So imagine that I took this line and then I moved it uh, to the north and I moved it to the south a little bit. Um, it would probably still roughly go through the center of the BYU Jerusalem Center, but you could only you can only do that uh, so much. Once you start like going like too far out, like probably like over here or probably over here, this would probably be about the limit of how far you could go before you would noticeably uh, not be going down the middle of the BYU Jerusalem Center. So even if in in reality, if you were take if you were to take the most accurate of measurements, um, even if it doesn't go directly through the Temple Lot, the fact that the that Kansas City and Independence and the Temple Lot are within this range, I think, is um, not coincidental. Now, it'd be interesting if we could find out exactly um, the exact measurements, but I, I'm going to still say that it's pretty significant that the range, even if it's like about this wide or so, goes through the temple lot. Okay, so uh, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to be I'm going to be doing a couple more videos, uh, which will probably come out uh, in the next little while, actually, because I want to look into the whole thing about. The Sons of Levi, once again, offering a, a sacrifice and righteousness, um, because if they have to, like, literally do um, animal sacrifice, then I, I suppose that they're going to have to have uh, a temple to do it in, in order for it to be considered um, a sacrifice and righteousness. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what, what, what I can find out about that, um, and then we'll, we'll discuss that in the next video that I do. Um, and as always, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, like this video if you liked it, hit the notification bell, 
Uh, make sure to share it on your social media, leave your comments, and I'll talk to you guys later.